All right, welcome to this exciting R tip. Um, I can't wait to teach this one. This one's really cool. Um, it's 007 PDF reporting. So what we're going to be doing is automating PDF reporting in this, and this is a really powerful technique that can save you a lot of time. So first, what you want to do is click do a git pull of your um, R tips GitHub repo and make sure you're up to date. It should pull down this 007 PDF reporting folder. And this contains the contents of what we're going to be working on today. So there's a few different folders in here. The first one is this output and output is where is going to be the products. So these are going to be the reports that we automate with just some parameters. And then um, the next one is the templates. So the template is uh, primarily this .rmd file that I'm going to showcase. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. And then the automation script, which is this 007 PDF reporting.r file. So first, what I'm actually going to do is open up the output. I want to show you what, what we're producing. Um, our, what we're producing looks a little bit like this. It's a PDF report um, that has parameters, and these parameters can change. So there's Visa, MasterCard, PayPal. Uh, this is a financial report, and you can see it has the returns by each year for each of these. And this is uh, for a financial portfolio. And what we also have is uh, we can do the same thing for a technology portfolio. And, so, and these are just parameters. So you can see in bold is, is where the parameters are changing. And we have Apple, Google, Netflix, and NVIDIA. And we have the stock returns each year. So this is what we're going to be striving to create today. Um, so that's the output and the templates of what we're going to be working out of is this .rmd file. So let's open this up. Um, I'm actually going to open up the side. Uh, there's no outline to this one. Um, this is what's called a .rmd file. If you've never seen one of these before, they have this stuff called YAML that's up here at the top. And the key about this one, so there's always going to be a title, an author, um, and then the output type, and, and whatever's in the, in the first position is the uh, method that it's going to be outputting. So it's a PDF document. And then um, this, this is basically meta information about this document. Um, and then there's params. This is something that's probably pretty new to you, even if you've used R Markdown before. And what params are, are parameters that you can pass to your R Markdown document to change it. And we can utilize these parameters elsewhere. So um, let's first just run this document. I'm going to hit the knit button. And what it's going to do down here is it's running some information in the R Markdown tab. And you can see it's building some reports. And then I just got a report that was created. And you can see it's doing the stock returns for Apple. So if we take a look at this, um, what we can see here is we've got Apple, which uh, shows up right here. We have portfolio name, it's technology portfolio, and you can see the start and the end date, which is right here. And then I have show code set equal to yes, so it's showing the code. So these are things that we can actually toggle. So these are the, the parameters. So I'm gonna X out of this, um, and then we'll talk about the code here. Uh, the code is actually, if you go back up, to uh, 006 pivot tables. This is code that we've already previously run through. Uh, we, what we're doing in here in this our Markdown document is loading a few libraries. Where um, this this is a little bit new. We've got some parameters in here um, that are being uh, pulled from these parameter names. So like portfolio name uh, goes right here. It's params dollar sign portfolio name. You can see it's params portfolio name. Um, and that's how a parameterized or markdown document works. And then we've got some code. All of this code actually comes from this 006 pivot table. So I just pulled it over, simplified it a little bit, and then I output this table here at the bottom. So basically what we're doing is we're taking our parameters and instead of uh, doing the pivot table with actually um, putting like Apple, Google, and Netflix in here in, in, in this location, we're using the parameters to get passed through from the document. Um, and this is really cool. You'll see why this is important here in a minute when we go to automate it. Um, and you can see that it's just doing a simple calculation, a pivot table. And then what we're doing down here is just kind of formatting that pivot table, um, giving it the params portfolio name. And if I run this, this little bit here, so if I run this piece and if I run this piece, uh, you can see what it outputs. It outputs just a table, stock returns, Apple, Google, Netflix. So it basically pulled in that data 
formatted it as a pivot table and then produced what's called a GT plot or a GT table. Um, and, and that's what gets output down here. Okay, so that's how the document works. And this is uh, a template.rmd file. Um, if I go back in here to 007 PDF reporting, so that template was in here, that's this RMD file. Um, how I can use it to automate PDFs, it's really cool. So if I open up this 007 PDF reporting.r file, this is where the magic happens. Um, also, uh, just real quick, if you want these R tips weekly to your email inbox, make sure you sign up for the, the, uh, the R tips newsletter. Uh, I've got a link here and I have a link in the notes, so make sure you get that set up. Um, the libraries that you need for this are going to be R Markdown, and then you're also going to need any of, any of the libraries that we list over here in the .rmd template file. Um, what you're going to want to do is also make sure to automate PDF reporting that you have tiny text installed. If you don't have tiny text, just run this and it'll get installed for you. Um, so I'm going to put that back in the comment. And then um, there's parameters here, technology portfolio, which is going to have a portfolio name of technology portfolio, symbols, Apple, Google, Netflix, NVIDIA. And then I'm going to have an output file. It's going to save it into my output folder and um, it's going to be called technology portfolio.pdf so let me run this line this line and this line and in my environment what that does is it saves the um the portfolio uh and the values here the portfolio name the output file and the uh, uh symbols that i'm going to be looking up and then i'm actually going to skip this section here i'm just going to skip it for a second and i'm going to go down here to this r markdown render so this render function is going to take that template that we have stored here, this .rmd file. So it pulls that file out. So that's the input. And then the output format, we're telling it PDF. So what it's going to do is basically in this spot over here, tell it to use PDF. Um, and then what we're going to do is set uh, name the output file. So the output file is going to be technology portfolio.pdf. So if I go up here to my output folder, it's going to be technology portfolio.pdf. And then um, what I'm going to do is uh, put it in this directory and then pass through these parameters. And this is where the magic happens again. So these parameters get passed to portfolio name, and that's going to be technology portfolio. Uh, symbols, which is going to be my Apple, Google, Netflix, NVIDIA. Uh, start date, end date, and then show code false because I don't want it to show the code. So what that's going to what's going to happen is that these parameters are going to get passed through to this template document that I have saved. So let's watch when I run this. I'm going to actually delete these two. And what we'll do is we'll run this first. And what it's going to do is basically run the template. And it's uh, let me refresh here. We've got the the technology portfolio.pdf and it just made this. So I've got Apple, Google, Netflix, NVIDIA here, and I've got all of the stock returns. And it's you can see it's technology portfolio and so on. Um, so it's got all of the parameters that I just passed through. And what's really cool is if I go back up here, and if I want to make a financial portfolio, I just pass through my um, my tickers that I want to put in. And let me let me just add one. I'll, I'll do JP Morgan. I'll add Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, and JP Morgan here. If I run this this and this and you'll see here we will get a financial portfolio so PDF let me refresh it and we've got the financial portfolio and just like that we've got JP Morgan MasterCard Visa PayPal so pretty cool we've now just automated creating PDFs in R if you like this video don't forget to sign up for the Tuesday free R tips newsletter you can just click this uh, link here and it'll send you here Put your email address in and every Tuesday you'll get these videos, you'll get the code, and you'll get the tutorial right in your inbox.